How's it going, guys? We're going to be tackling dungeons in this video. This is for you beginners out there. Uh, it is Alliance Week in dungeons. There is a time limit on how long it's going to be Alliance Week. This also coincides with Tyrion, uh, Jaina, and Maiev being at increased drop rates in the store. So run, do not walk. Unlock Tyrion. He is the second best leader in the game. Farm him up to three additional stars so that you get him to uncommon. Pick up a talent for him. I love Consecrate. No one else does, but I, I pushed very far in PvE with it, so I believe it. Uh, and then get your butt in the dungeon. So what we're going to do here is I'm going to show you how I approach the different stages in the dungeon. Uh, this is a completely maxed out Tyrion, so I'm doing the additional harder levels. So it's a punch up, so it should translate down to you guys. Um, if you feel that it doesn't though, don't worry. I have a baby account that I'm building up to go alongside with you guys starting in the global launch. You can check it out on Twitch. And if enough of you say in the comment sections, you want to see the baby account perspective, I'll make a video for that too. And we'll have that out by tomorrow. Enjoy the video and please like share and subscribe. Going over the dungeon system a little bit, but mostly I just want to kind of show you how you can tackle Black Phylum Devs with Tyrion, a very strong Tyrion deck. This is a end game account that I have right now. Uh, I'm gonna follow this video up with a uh, the baby account that I'm making to experience the beginning of the game with you guys all over again and to make guides, we'll have another one for that. But I wanted to show you something uh, that you could use to push really far because Tyrion is an amazing leader. It just so happens to be Alliance Week. So you should be able to get your hands on him from the grid and push the dungeons as far as you possibly can. Because what happens is every time you beat a dungeon, you get to upgrade your army slots. You see how all of my army slots here, they're all gold? Well, if I go to a different character like Jaina, you can see I have a bronze slot here. If I go, let's try and find one where there's a silver slot. Uh, looks like, uh, come on, there's silver slot somewhere. Okay, here's a silver slot here. So what happens is bronze grants, bronze grants one level to that mini wherever you use it, except PvP where it gets crunched by three. Silver is two levels and the gold is full three levels. Um, and you get to put one additional level per slot in the army for every dungeon difficulty you beat. If you're punching down on the dungeon, you get to put multiple levels just to kind of save you time. Um, but so the dungeon system, it's super important because you're getting to power up your, uh, your army permanently. Another thing you need to be aware of is that these traits at the top they are set in stone, as is the leader, right? The leader is Tyrion. But these traits, Alliance, Alliance, Tank, these are set in stone. You cannot manipulate these at all. The bottom ones, you do get to pick as you're going through the dungeon. So I picked Squad, I picked Unbound, I picked Flying, but it's not permanent. You can actually switch those out, but it's going to cost you some Arc Light energy. So you don't want to switch them out too, too often. All right, so with that uh, little brief introduction done, let's go ahead and run a super endgame dungeon. One of the reasons I want to show this is because once you get all your decks, all your leaders rather, finished when you have them all maxed out, this actually becomes a source of gold. I've never beaten one of these. I'm not sure if this refreshes every single time the Alliance leaders come around. I'm not sure if every leader is entitled to a certain amount of gold by beating these, but I thought this would be an interesting way to show like the highest level of difficulty for Tyrion. This is gonna be a punch up for my army, by the way. Also, we'll talk about relics briefly. You're not always gonna get the same relics every day or on every level, but generally speaking, you're gonna want uh, buffs to your Alliance minis, especially this buffer here. Reflective Chain is probably the best one for Tyrion. We'll talk about why when we get into the match, but anything that buffs your squads, buffs your leader there's one that every time you play Tyrion he gets a level that's really powerful as well um, the kobold where you're going to get 20 levels that's really good for pushing early dungeons um, deploying your leader grants a shield to nearby allies absorbing one attack that one's just okay unstable concoction on death your minis explode damaging nearby enemies and poisoning them this one's kind of just okay if you're doing giant punch downs in the dungeon and you're throwing unbound units at the boss to get through quickly but yeah when you're looking at your relics Look for ways to beef up your tanks, whether that be to make them cheaper to deploy, um, make them give bloodlust, or this one where they're actually gonna be doing like thorns damage to the enemy. So let's go ahead, we're, we're, we'll select Reflective Chain, and then let's look at the map for Glurgle Murgle. 
Now, Dorky, can I have, I have a quick question? You mentioned arc like energy is used to refresh those nodes. What else is that energy used for, real quick? That's a great question, Skinny Boss, and thank you. Uh, arc like energy is also used for up grading your minis rarity so when you collect certain stars on your minis whether that be three stars to bring them to uncommon an additional 10 to bring them to rare an additional 25 to bring them epic you're gonna have to spend arc like energy to actually do the upgrade along with cores uh, those cores are very rare uh, the arc like energy is something that apparently you get to farm when you get the dungeons completed so that's a little bit easier to, to part with to make changes but early game, you're not going to want to be flipping those off. All right, so we see a bunch of little eyes here. I've never seen this before. <laughs> but it's, it, what is it telling us? Everything's going to happen? Good. It's telling us all the, the enemies that are currently here. So what we have in this first map is three lanes. We've got the left lane, the middle lane, the right lane. The two on this left side, they're kind of together. We do want to take that tower away from the enemy so that we can get this gold possession as well. But we're going to be doing the most of our attack from the right side. The reason we're doing our attack from the right side is because we keep pathing by this chest. We're going to be pathing by here where these murlocs come out. If we leave these murlocs alone, they're going to come down here and the murloc will set camp here and just peg down our tower, which is super annoying. But also, the murlocs that come out of this door over here, they post up here and the huntress that we have in our army, which you're going to see in use, will actually take them out. If we were to go on this side, they have an elevation advantage and our Huntress will not take them out, and we're gonna have to use the Safety Pilot or Whelp Lanes to take them out. That takes time, and by then, your units are slowed. They're probably dead, they're in a worse position. So, get control of the left side, get control of the gold and the chest, but most of our attack is coming from the right side. All right, so let's start by getting our army going. We'll throw Whelp Lanes here to deal with the initial uh, Murlocs. There they go. And now we can send a Tyrion so we can get control of that tower as fast as possible. I don't want to let these uh, these kobolds get that gold, so I will actually waste an additional three gold to control that. All right, now we got the tower, we got possession. You're going to see these units, because I have the reflective damage... We're actually going to get some good damage on these Murlocs. They might kill themselves, and we might be able to bum rush this boss. But you can see the enemies have a level advantage on me, so this is probably an ill-advised idea. So we'll see what happens there. In the meantime, I will go back down here and try and get this under control. You see that Murloc just pegging away. We do have a nice army up there on him, though. We might just be able to, to muscle this one. All right, perfect. Well, the last time I did this, I did have to grab the right side. It was a little bit better. But it looks like because now we have those thorns, we're able to just brute force those murlocs on the left side, and they kill themselves. And the last time, I couldn't take thorns, so that's a big difference. Relics play a huge factor in how these dungeons play out. Holy God, those thorns are so powerful. I did not think they'd be that good. That's amazing. All right. The second level is much more difficult than this first one. We have flyers, we have poison trails. It's a problem. Um, we need to kind of not let this get away from us. This is why we have dragons. Dragons are a great air that is also anti-air. The enemy is gonna walk into the fire. We're kind of dropping these whelpling eggs all over the place. And you're gonna see how that plays into account on this next uh, stage. First, let's see what we got here. Choose your relic. Your flying minis gain poison. That would help us a lot here. Every third gold mind levels up your active minis. Active minis means when they die, they don't keep that level. Your non-spell minis have half as much health and deal double damage. We definitely don't want that. So we'll go with airborne toxin here. And hopefully that extra damage from the drake will give me the air superiority. And my mustache is tickling my nose. Now, you know what, on bright side, maybe those flying minis that normally rip me apart, maybe they're going to die to the thorns. So maybe it's going to be a non-issue. We're not going to have to worry about our drake at all. If that one was like, every, if it was mine 
every single piece of gold you get gives you a level, that would have been the mini I took for sure. Oof. All right, so we got some flyers. Let's take them out all at once. Let them get a bit closer. Now, here we go. Let's summon up. We'll get a little army going. There we go. So you can see how there's the poison field here. There's the safe route here for our, our uh, walking units. And there's another poison lake. With Tyrion doing healing, we could probably muscle our way through the poison lakes. But definitely not advisable. You see, we do have one footman pathing off. Let's see the sort of damage he takes. You know, not, not terrible damage. I do think Tyrion would have kept our units up through that. But I'm also glad we don't have to find out. Ooh, there's a Banshee. There was a Banshee. That Banshee is no more. So, our Tyrion is doing great work for us here. We do have a little bit of extra anti-air coming in the form of that Huntress too, which is nice. And you can see these Thorns are just doing amazing work. But we got to deal with these uh, Drakes kind of lagging out here. I really hope they get their own client soon, because playing on emulator is not fun. But it's why we can have this very nice big screen. Oof, the lag is unbearable. Alright, we did a lot of work on the boss for the first push. I'm very happy with that. I'll even try and take this tower. So what we'll do is we'll throw the... Oh, I didn't throw... Not throw that cobalt fast enough. That's my fault. Alright, the Huntress does hit the air units. Let's go ahead and do this. We'll take out that griffin. All right, come on, Huntress. Oh, no, we're going to die to that uh, bat rider, aren't we? All right. Oh, that works for me. Okay, that's great. That works out. All right, cool. We won that exchange. We got to get an army back up here. I'm telling you, this one is definitely the hardest. We want to like defend the side lanes, but then push up the mid. Uh, let's summon back here. I, I don't know why I summoned the most expensive unit. That was a mistake. But they also take a bunch of hits, so maybe the thorns. Oh my god. The thorns is killing them. That's fantastic. That thorns trade is something else. We do not want our guy to get lost here. I did not think the thorns trade was going to be that powerful. That's amazing. Let's see if I don't know. We couldn't uh, send Tyrion up there. We might need to replay this one. Good, she didn't walk into the fire. Good, 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 good. Oh, we lost our Huntress. That's not great. No, that guy spawned in the worst time possible. Oh, no, this is not good. We were doing great. This is where we show the power of the dragon. See, they just walk into the fire really nice and strong. The problem we have right now is that the boss is still very much alive. We got double gold. Let's we'll see if we can just dive bomb him down. Not a bad outcome so far. All right, looks like we did enough to get through it. So we protected our sides. We did struggle here because it is a punch-up dungeon. But we're going to get through the boss here. And then we're on to the more difficult final stage. The most difficult final stage, actually. Back up in depths. Very, very tough. I'm I'm really surprised. That, uh, that Thorns Relic is carrying us. There was a lot of time there. A lot of misplays I made on that second node. Where I was still able to pull it off. So that's going to be one you should keep an eye out for. With those foot soldiers and that thorns. Mm, it's really nice. Because it's a squad of them, right? So there's so many alliance members there. It's doing additional damage for each one of them. I really, really like that. And then Tyrion's like healing people through it. It's really dope. We might be able to make like a full push here. Deployed unbound skeletons. Your minis cost four or five. Deploy with a shield. Playing your leader summons two spiderlings. Let's go some, with some spiderlings. Some spiderlings with Tyrion could be very interesting. 
We'll try and run this back without that. Uh, well, we'll see. We'll see if we can get that shielding one again for the next run. And we'll see if we get more gold again. All right, we'll take a look at the stage here. If we forgot to take a look at the last stage. There's a lot of strategy that goes into this one instead of just protect your sides and go up the middle. This one's a lot different. So what we need to do is we need to take out each Hydra head, which will open up this stage, and there's going to be three other Hydras behind the waterfall. And we need to take out all the Hydras to win. While we're doing that, we're getting slammed with squads all over the place. There's going to be uh, the bandits that stun us. Lots of damage, lots of raptors. So what we want to do is we want to hard commit to one side. I like to hard commit to the left side. Once this Hydra goes down, hard commit to the right side. And then we want to switch this little, uh, uh, well, it's a switch. We want to switch the switch, get down this guy, and then we start heading in there. It is a time crunch for sure. All right, so let's go ahead and get in here. All right, let's, we're going to summon our footmen like right here because I think we can get them to kill themselves maybe. Nah, no, unfortunately not. But these thorns are doing work. That's great. I'm going to try and make the quill board take the hits here, I think. Oh, we got a safety pilot. All right, so I, th I do think we got this Hydra in the bag, actually. Oh, yeah, look at all that damage. Oh, my God. The footmen do not do that much damage. That's got to be from Thorns. Holy. Thorns OP. Let's see if we can get this tower on the first push, too, and that gold mine. Oh, that's crazy. Wow. The harpies are dying to the thorns. And, and Tyrion is just, he's about this life. Uh, we might be able to take that dragon in the back with how broken this one uh, trade is. As long as we still have Tyrion healing people. All right, let's 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 commit to this guy over here while they walk over there. Because once they kill that drake, they're just going to walk into their deaths. If you walk into that waterfall, you instantly die. So... Uh, oh, damn it. Here we go. Wait, what happened? I just saw the, the health bar of the boss evaporate. What the heck happened? The footmen do not do that much damage. This is all thorns. This is crazy. We just have this little bit of health left. That's, that's great. Let's go get that gold. Spider lanes are going to do their job here. Game struggling. Safety pilot. Yeah, game struggling. Oh, there it goes. We did it. Let's get a Drake here. Get those Raptors gone. So the squads that are sent, so we see, I think we saw chickens, we see raptors, we see bandits, and we see harpies. So harpies are the only real threat to my uh, my drake, but harpies will just run into it and die. Nice, there we go. The harpies killing themselves on Tyrion is, is just amazing to watch. We're, we're kind of half-assing it, though. We need to wait till we have a nice little gold pile and make a push. We're only at 48 seconds, so yeah, this is this is a tough one for sure. Here we go. Let's get those guys. Let's get the drakes. We have elevation, so those murlocs are not an issue. Uh, I guess let's summon our raptor, sorry, our dragons right here. Let's get that gold chest. I wish I had a Tyrion going in with them so he could heal them while their thorns rip it apart. We're not playing our best right now. I do like all these whelp eggs we have though. Oh my god! That Hydra like killed himself. Look at that damage! The Hydra's killing himself with that laser beam. All right, but yeah, no, this this is not gonna work out if we do this. We got a one minute. We need to send in foot soldiers with Tyrion and a Moonglaive. Yeah, uh, let's send them in the long way. And then Tyrion can maybe meet him. Oh no, Tyrion's right here, okay. Throw that Tyrion in. 40 seconds, we might have sent it too, too far the long way. We'll find out. Let's take this far one out here. 
30 seconds remain. Twenty seconds. We might have we might have went too far. We probably should have summoned a little bit closer. Yeah, we did way too far. Ten seconds. Okay, well we'll just redo this node. We obviously misplayed it at the end and timed ourselves out. Not super smart. Oh my god, look at we we, we had it though. If we didn't start so far off. Yeah, that guy was dying. Yo. Yo. So again, we're gonna go left side, then right side, take the dragon. And then we're gonna head for the the three heads. Ooh, we did not get a good opening pull here. We did get Tyrion at least. He should heal himself. Uh, this lag is unbearable. Is T can Tyrion solo that? I guess is the question. Sure seems like it. The Thorns plus Tyrion plus Consecrate is really doing in work here. We left our base wide open though. Oh, there's a... Oh, there's a... That's why there's a freaking guy on it. There was a Quail Boar on it. So the thorns will kill it, right? Yeah, okay. This is going so much worse than last time. We're gonna split here. We're getting overrun right now. No way, they kill oh my god, we lost. Wow, 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 wow. Alright, we got overrun that time. We had such a bad opening hand there. We had to like use a dragon, which is super squishy, unless it's in the right circumstances. Alright, well we got one more shot, like I said, so let's not mess it up. It's our last one. You only get three per day or something? No, no, you could spam dungeons, but uh, you only get an extra so a dungeon is a three map gauntlet and every time you beat one of the gaunt one of the maps you get an extra life so i'm on the third map right now so i got two extra lives because i one shot the oh, other oh you'd have to do them over again yeah all right don't give me on the raptors don't give me a shitty hand that's all i need See, this is such a different hand than what I had. With this guy last time, we ended up getting all the way to the tower. And we're gonna we're gonna do it again too. But we're not gonna overcommit. We're gonna get this other Drake faster. Tyrion's gonna hold that down for us. Get it, Tyrion. He's so good. Tyrion's so good. Uh, that is that is like a record speed at getting those two Hydra heads. That's amazing. If we we might be able just to carry this one, man, all the way. Let's throw another Tyrion in there. So we have two Tyrions. Heading into the last stage. That'll be crazy. Let's protect ourselves from these range units. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Those thorns just melted himself. Oh, this is over. We're going to end this with like minutes left. What a difference. Look at this health. This is insane. Oh, we gotta run this back. We gotta we gotta get these guys an even higher level, see how high we can push. Wow, 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 wow. Alright guys, so that's 
I this was horrible footage because it was basically showed use this relic and win, but use that relic if you see it with Tyrion and those guys and win. And you know what? If you're trying to get Jaina or Medivh leveled, my ev rather, I would suggest still running that that uh, Thorn deck with the Footman soldiers, and I'd probably add like a Shaman healer in there, and maybe Holy Nova. Holy Nova is not a bad spell either. All right, let's let's run this back. Maybe we'll get better footage and this one will be garbage. That's it for the video, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, make sure you like, share, and subscribe. Stay happy, healthy, have fun, and I'll see you in the next one.